All right, the manga I've been reading. You guys know that whenever a Fry Rin Beyond Journey's End comes out, uh, I am reviewing it at this point. This is volume eight. It's probably my favorite manga I've read in a long time. Uh, Fushigi Yugi is my all-time favorite, but this is a lot of fun. Uh, and it's about an elf girl who is traveling with a party of new adventurers. She's already had her adventure to save the world from the evil demon back in the day. Uh, they got old and died, but she didn't because she's an elf. Uh, and so she's now uh, using her past mistakes to kind of learn... Uh, how to go through things now uh volumes four five and six like got stuck in this like let's do a school competition like manga trope which really sucked i i was i was kind of bummed about that because i hate that <laughs> it's too it's like gosh you're doing this just so you can have a long-term anime show because that's what they like to do in these sorts of things but now they're back in the northlands and they're adventuring again uh and they fight some demons they go into this town and uh this one the first one's a cutesy adventure where it's just kind of comedic and all that. You can see the art's really nice all the way through this. They got some good detailed backgrounds. Uh, they they vary between cute and fun. And on this cute adventure, they end up like uh, going into this dwarf uh, sort of uh, mine where he's been searching for this like ancient alcohol for a long time. And uh, the 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 twist is, oh, it sucks. Uh, but at the end of the day, he's like, you know what? We did it all anyway, and we're gonna have a nice booze night for the whole town. And then they move on. Then they get into this, like, the main chunk of the story. Um, yeah, so here's some of the backgrounds here. They, it looks like they actually import in some uh, pictures that they kind of pixelate here, too. Uh, but it's all right. Uh, it, it sets the tone. It looks good. Everything's fun. And uh, the characters go out, and they find these other mages who were part of that uh, school competition a while back. And uh, they're dealing with some demons uh, around things. And once they get to the demons, uh, they're really rough demons to deal with. And the elf girl has an apprentice named Fern, who's a human, who's becoming a mage. And she's like a maybe even a better mage than the elf girl. But she's still tr learning, and she ends up having to deal with this demon in her own way. And then their party's warrior has to deal with the other demon along with uh, one of the mages that's in the town there. And the demon there, they have a beautiful battle like with this four-armed demon who's just awesome. Uh, and it looks like they're going to fail and lose, and they, they really did a good job with the drama of that. Uh, before getting into it, you look at the the spell casting and all that that they have in this. This is so pretty, as the as the uh, girls deal with their own demon, and then they set off on another adventure. At the very end of the book, uh, there's an opening uh, where like there's these. Uh, here's they're fighting some dragons. Very cute, cute art. Uh, there's an opening like to what appears to be another land uh, that they're about to go into in the next volume, um, and I guess it's setting up volume nine. And uh, good stuff. This is great fantasy adventuring all the way around, just like every volume's been so far. I enjoyed it. This is a 9 out of 10 for me. I'm having fun with it, and that is what's important out of comics. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.